we see now how to create question paper in Google form. For that purpose, in this browser window type forms.google.com. Then you will be asked to log in. So log in with your Gmail ID. Put your password. You will come to home page of the Google Forms. Already some templates are available like contact information, RSVP, party invite, t-shirt sign up, etc. We want to create multiple choice question paper. So that's why we start with the blank form. So let us click on the plus symbol. Let us say that we are creating a paper of mathematics. So for that purpose, what we do is that the title to the form we give as a mathematics. So here we type mathematics. So form description you can give it is mini test that is the description we give for this particular form and then you have to create the multiple choice question so you can come to this particular bar and the thing is that you can choose to have the questions so in that i click multiple choice and let us say i have a question 5 plus 3 so the natural options or the natural answer is 8. So what I will be putting here is that I will put 7, I will put 8, I will put 9 and I will put 10. So these are the different options that I can put. I can move the options. So I can move this 8 here and 9 here. So like that we can also do. And to do this as a quiz or if you want to have this form as a quiz, so at that point of time i have to go to the settings and in the quizzes you have to make this as a mark as a quiz so that's uh, the setting that i want to make so i make that setting now and see now here there is an option which is appearing is the answer key so answer key let us say that the question paper is of the 10 mark so what i will do is that i will let us say i give five marks to this particular question and then i will say done so this is the way in which the question is created now i want to create a, another question so here i will click again and my question now is six six into three so the answer of which is 18 so for that purpose again i select a multiple choice so my first the answer is 18 so let us say i select the first option as 20 another one option i select as a 19 and the third one i select as a 15 and the fourth one i select as a 18 so that's the answers which i give and here answer so the thing is that for the answer key here i will put and i will put five marks for this particular question and i will select the answer as 18 and i will say done that's the case so here also i have to click and i will select the answer as 5 plus 3 8 and then I will say the answer as done. So this is the way in which the questions are created. So I can, what I can do is that I can divide this paper into sections also. So if you want to have the details of the student, so for that purpose, what we will do is that we will create a section. So add section you will do. So actual questions will appear in the, the section, second section. So here, the actual questions will appear in the second section and the first section will have the information okay so here you can create a question in which name of the student can be a question name of the student can be a question so which will be naturally a short answer okay like that another option that you can have is a roll number of the student so roll number of student can be a question so like that this will have a answer which is a short answer so this is the way in which what we do is that we create a form so you can add the other details in the description form so what it says is that let us say time for this test is 10 minutes and the maximum marks you can add in the description so the maximum marks for this are 10 so like that you can carry out now for this question paper you can give name to the file so on the left 
top left so this file i name it as a mcq paper this is a file name and this is a title title of the subject is a mathematics so here what i have done is that i have created the mathematical question similarly any type of mcq paper for other subjects also you can prepare and see now as the total marks for this paper are 10 and i have created two questions so this 10 marks so here you can you will see that that the total marks appearing are 10 so like that the questions and the question paper is created if you want to do some formatting with the form you can do with this so we can choose image for the form so we will set choose image then work and school let us say for that purpose these different images are available so we will choose this let us say this particular image form for this form and then click insert so this will now appear image for the form so this is the way in which we select the theme for the form and your question paper is ready in a very nice format so now what we can do is that to send the paper click this send option so once we do that you can send via email that's the one thing then you can copy this link and send separately via email that is the another option to send the form or you can shorten the url and you can send a shortened link to the students that's the another way or you can embed the html code whenever required if you want to make the form as a generalized form and if you want to collect the email id of the participants then you have to click this particular option so this is the way in which you will send the form concerned person will click on the link and then what it will do is that it will fill up the form so now in our case what we can do is that we will see we will preview this form by clicking this button so what is that this is the form available in addition to that we will have the setting in the preferences so the thing is that we will go to the preferences and you can give the mark questions as required so if you want to make the question compulsory you will tick here if you want to have default quiz point marks then you can select that here so this setting is available and for the form to make it secure or non-secure these different settings are available now if you say if you want to collect the email address you will have to tick this option if you want to limit the form submission for a particular participant to be one response then you have to take this if the participant want to edit after submit then take this particular information and if you want that the summary charts and text responses are seen by the participant also then you have to take this particular option presentation show progress bar you can tick shuffle question order if it is a quiz you can tick this option show link to submit another response so we will untick this and here is the confirmation message which is a, your response has been recorded but you can change the message also so uh, what you can say that let us say that thank you for submitting the response like that also uh, you can type for this particular form so that will appear as a message so come to the quizzes already we have marked as this as a quiz a mark immediately after each submission uh, that's we have selected the option if you want to release the scores later what you can do is that you can select this option which is a letter after manual review respondent can see missed questions we untake this correct answers we will untake this and point values yes point values they can see and we will save the settings now what you can do is that you can come to this particular form now see it's a nice looking form mathematics name of the student let us say is a xyz roll number is let us say 33 next you will come to this particular form so 5 plus 3 i will click as 8 and 6 into 3 i will click as 18 and you will click to submit so yes it is giving the message which we have typed thank you for submitting the response if i click view score you will get 10 out of 10 so 10 out of 10 is the score and you will get such a assessment sheet if you want to check responses submitted by participants then click here responses now you see that the response submitted is one so summary you will see here or insights you will see here that is the average median range etc name, name of the student roll number 
and individual question details how the participants have responded you will see here then individual responses you click you can click here and you can see the individual responses so see this is the individual response for a particular candidate you can if more than one responses are there then see here you have to click this arrow and you will go to the second response so like that we will be checking the individual responses that is also possible so that way what you can do is that you can see the responses and carry out your assessment and if you want to close the paper then you have to make this particular thing as a off so you will stop accepting the responses otherwise again you can make it on if it is required and you can accept the responses so this is the response part of the google form so in this way you can dynamically use google form to create a question paper not only mathematics but the paper of any subject which is of the multiple choice type you can create with the google form thank you